Morning, it's Steve from Machemi Fire. We've got our consignment of chilies here. We had a really early start getting down to uh, the depot to collect this morning. Um, basically, it's about nine o'clock. Um, we've got a lot of chili here. 300 kilograms of chilies of three different types. We've got um, serenades here, which are good standard stocks chili. Work out about kind of 40,000 scoville, so you know, decent sort of heat to them. But we're going to be fermenting these ones down um, with a bit of garlic um, in the next few hours. We've got about 50 kilos of jalapenos here, fantastic quality ones, good firm green ones that we're going to be um, selling fresh to a few suppliers we've already got on board and also pickling them down. Um, so we're doing catering packs of pickles. Um, and at the back here, you might be able to see if I reach over, are our scotch bonnets. We've got yellow scotch bonnets and about 150 kilos of them this week. Um, we'll be getting a standard sort of 250 kilos of those every week until June. So we're looking at about six tonnes of chilies that we're processing over the next five months. So a lot of work to be getting on with. But I'm going to get all this stuff back to the unit and we're going to get processing on it. And we'll do a bit of, a, uh, a bit of filming there so you can see what we're doing. Right, I thought I'd just give you guys a bit of a progress report on where we're at. Um, it's the next morning here. We had a pretty big day yesterday. We actually had a, a piece of kit go on us, unfortunately, which meant that we had to do all of our processing by hand, uh, which meant it was took a bit longer than normal and was pretty physical, but we got it all done in the end. Um, you'll notice these barrels here. Uh, we've actually filled these barrels with our, with our chilli mash, um, which we'll be leaving then to ferment for the next couple of months before we do anything with it. I um, haven't really talked about fermentation or um, chilli mashes and what you can do with it and how we make it, but I'll save that to a bit of a later video. Um, I've left one of the uh, tops open so you can have a quick look before I lock it all down. This is our Scotch Bonnet mash. Amazing colours. Um, the, fl the smell coming off it is just incredible. Um, but yeah, there you go. Lots of chilli mash in there. We'll be actually making five barrels of mash um, on average every week until the end of June. So we're talking a serious amount of mash here. Um, so there's going to be a lot, lot of these barrels. Um, you'll notice we've got the airlocks and the ones from last week as well. Okay. So the airlocks just mean that the, the gases that are created during the fermentation can escape. And so the barrels don't explode, basically. Um, so that's our mashes. Um, we processed all the scotch bonnets there. You'll notice we've got a few smaller ones here. There you go, a little demonstration one. We're going to be doing the same with the serenades. We've uh, decalixed these, which means we've um, taken off um, the stalks. And we'll wash these again before we process these down. But we're making a, a special serenade mash um, as a trial as well. Um, also got a few of the pickles here. We've got um, jalapeno pickles and scotch bonnet pickles. And we're going to be selling these uh, mainly to kind of wholesale and cafes. We've already had a good few people take these on. Um, here's the respirator. Um, I have to wear these uh, when I'm doing the scotch bonnets because it's, it's pretty um, pungent in here and you, if you didn't wear it you'd be in trouble. Um, but there you go, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to get back to it, I've got a few things to make this morning but if you're interested in kind of what we're doing, I'm more than happy to leave a comment or just send us an email and I can give you a bit more information. So there we go.